Okay, so let's take this out. All right, this is a very interesting device called the Password Pocket. So basically you can store up to 1000 passwords. I don't know whether you need up to 1000 password anyway, but this will be able to autofill your passwords and it's not basically using cloud as at all. So no one can really hack into your cloud system. So you're at ease with that mindset. And it's actually a military grade encryption as well. And it's really interesting device. It's very tiny and I think it could use for both smartphone and also for your PC as well. So those who are struggling to remember your password, I think this Will be a good solution for you so enough said let's get into the quick unboxing and try it out so here it goes All right so take this one out okay so it's pretty straightforward isn't it we've got a very quick instruction manual or warranty should we say and oops and there's nothing else going on here so let's push that away so the quick run through is that this is actually a indicator light letting you know that device is actually working. This button is on and off. Surprising enough that you can, if you press it, you can see that uh, the green light is flashing now. And then on the back side, you actually pull it off downwards and you'll be able to see the CR2032 battery, which is quite clever here. And that here people is the reset a tiny hole. All right, so it's all connected to my smartphone through the app by Bluetooth. So make sure your Bluetooth is on and once you open up the app, it's gonna give you a countdown of uh, 30 seconds, okay? So when you, once you press that, then you're gonna get this first page. So this first page is giving you an option of creating a master key. You gotta make sure you remember the master key because that's gonna control the rest of the whole passwords okay all right so next page says enable autofill service on your phone so you just need to press on the autofill and make sure that this is autofilled and it's connecting it's unlocking it's all done so just to go through the app this is the first page on the left it says enable autofill which i have done save credentials on your pass password uh, pocket so that's just a notification. If you click on the central one on the bottom, you can create a note by pressing the uh, plus button on the right hand side top. If you go to settings, it shows you what sort of accounts you have. Password generator, you can actually customize um, and do whatever random preference you want by choosing these options here, uppercase, lowercase numbers and symbols, um, auto lock, you can actually set up the um, timing as well and also unlock method as well. You can do always unlock a biometric verification or master key. That's very cool. Read only mode. So those are the other options. Um, and advanced settings, if you click on that, you got backup data, restore data, uh, import logins, export logins, auto fill, run in background as well. Cool. And lastly, the device information, the firmware version is um, 1.0.6 and you could actually update it and the battery seems to be very high. So this is how you can check your battery and the storage capacity basically means that you got zero out of 1000. So you can have up to 1000 as it says on the 10. Here's a good example. eToro, most of the time, if you leave a few days, will ask you to log in every single time so it's a bit annoying but um, the way how you can register your login details with uh, the password pocket is if you go to the password side this will show you saying that log in with password pocket so if you click on that basically you just need to press the button on the top and it will say eToro.com um, so you can actually customize the name and then an account and the password just need to fill in and it's all good to go. So under the condition that the Bluetooth connection is set up with password pocket, when you're trying to press the password, you will see there are two notifications here under the logo of password pocket. So you just need to press on one of the login details. It's automatically filled in. All you need to do is press that. And obviously every single time when you're trying to log in, eToro needs to send you the uh, five digit verification code, code which has been 
uh, sent to me. So that's how you actually log in. So that's pretty clever, isn't it? All right, so I'm just about to install the Password Pocket app to my Chrome. Um, and the way how you could get those uh, details is from here. This is for the extension of Chrome and extension of Edge, okay? Same goes to the Microsoft Edge. So if I were to press this, it says get. And if you add the um, extension here that is shown, uh, if I press that, it's pretty straightforward and immediately you're all good to go. So if you go to the three dots on your Microsoft Edge, same to Chrome, I guess, and then you go to extensions, and you click on the um, password pocket, this is the page you get. So all you need to do is connect to uh, password pocket. Uh, so you need to um, pair. So I think you need to press that button there and soon it should be appearing. Now here it goes. And then you just need to pair straight away. And the data is being transferred and that's very cool, isn't it? So the next page will be hopefully a one-time login, which is your username and the master key that you just need to type in and you're all good to go. Hey, hey it says login success. So you got to keep this window uh, for open for connection, unfortunately. So you can't close down this browser. Uh, so that's a bit of a downside, but hey, that's better than nothing. But if you want to uh, make sure that this gets sorted all the time, you just need to log in and type in your login details for your master keys. So if I were to go to eToro again, uh, let's go to Google and then eToro and login. All my details logging in will be uh, automatically filled in. So all I need to do is press sign in. So that's all good to go. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. You can set up immediately and it's really exciting to know that if there's a particular website or app that you struggle to log in every single time, all you need to do is connect this device, uh, the password pocket into your computer or your smartphone by Bluetooth and you're all good to go. Now there is one design flaw that I need to point out. Now this will be tested in a long run, but if I were to slightly notch the battery cover on the back, um, the cover seems to come out quite easily. So I'm not really sure uh, that's going to be secure, but we shall see. Now, um, I was actually amazed by the price uh, that is available on Kickstarter. I know you get a lot of discount on Kickstarter, but then again, it doesn't feel like a high tech device. But then again, I think that was intentional. My suggestion would be that um, it would be nice to have a fingerprint reader rather than the actual logo button here. Um, it kind of feels like a garage sort of um, door when you're trying to open up and close and so on. Now, the last thing I do want to point out again is that uh, I know you can use your um, the CR2032 battery every single time you just need to replace it and so on. But um, I wish this was more like a USB-C power device. That would be quite cool. Um, so hopefully in the second upgraded version, we'll have all those features available then again, but that's my personal suggestion. So it's up to you how you want to use it, but it's a very minimized sort of a use. So it's very discreet. So maybe it's actually fulfilling its purpose. So. Um, yeah, it's it's good to have and obviously this will be added on my key ring collection as well So I hope this video gave you an insight of what this um, Password pocket uh, device is about but if you have any queries, please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video This is LJP tech all the best Bye-bye